All right, it's Sunday and we're doing something completely different. We are at Food, Go Food Truck World. Most of them aren't open yet. Behind Machine Gun America. Some of them are open, not most, not most are open. So we're gonna see if we can find something to eat. So we're also by the fun spot, FYI. Yeah, sometimes somehow it's not as appealing when you call it three milks. No tres leches. It's more exotic. So instead. <laughs> Can be. It smells right. My fries are massively hot. Are your fries hot? Nope. Feel yeah. reading it on my face. He just took he just took them out of the thing and salt I watched him salt them. Alright, so we got this is called the Olympian. It is uh, chicken and gyro meat on a pita with tzatziki sauce. It is my favorite sauce of all the sauces. I also got a box of them. You know, for variety. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it is. Botanical. I, oh, you're filming. It's a botanical garden. I could grow Lego plants, is what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what this is is not Lego, but it's one of their closest yeah. knockoffs. In it fact, is. enough that it's compatible with Lego. Okay. But unlike other knockoff ones, I mean, these are stunning collections that these guys make for about half the price of real Lego. Okay. And so some people's solution to the crisis is, is that they didn't like something. It's like, well, then I just use real Lego to supplant it. <laughs> okay. But uh, you said you wanted expert and challenging, and this is I expert think... and challenging. Is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the feedback on Amazon was it's very challenging. But I went for a stunning because this looks very steampunk. Okay. It does look a little steampunk. Oh my. You have to make all these plants. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Is it getting warm in here? It does have numbered bags. It's got numbered bags, which is always very helpful. Now, the feedback again, is such that this means literally nothing. What? Because they'll say stuff's in bag four, but it'll be like in bag two or whatever. So they're like, you really just, you're better off just sorting by whatever. Well, if they're, if they're saying, f that's from the friends set. <laughs> I recognize that. Look, there's a base you build on. Mm -hmm. You have to build on a plot of land, apparently. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's going to rain. We can't go anywhere. I know. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> oh, this looks like... What, there's, oh, my God. How many ones are there? Many ones. Look, look at the... Wait, wait, wait. Look at the windows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't even know they made Legos in that shape. Well, they technically don't. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
This is going to be fun. The way this is looking in the pictures on Amazon, I really suspect this is whoever builds these for them. <gasps> and they're pulling an Aldi's here. It lights up? Yep. <laughs> And oh, no extra charge. My God, I have to light it up. Yep. This this gift is lit. Mm hmm What does it do? How does it wear? What is it? I'm not finishing sentences. How do you light it? Where does it light? What does it look like? Well, another feedback on the website, on the... Amazon comments is I don't think they tell you like up front. You have to basically kind of Google it. Doesn't say. They'll, the they'll send you the lights but no instructions up front, which is weird. I don't know why that that's their way of doing it. Unless something changed. My God, look at how complicated that page is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> These things are awesome. Mm -hmm. I I have a huge Lego fan now. Yep. To the point where we're going to go broke and I'm going to just have to build us a Lego house. But our collection is going to look stunning. This is amazeballs. Oh, yeah. But you got to see their other stuff now that I've pulled the Band-Aid off and you've seen what their shit looks like. Yeah, but if this is the one you picked, then this is the best one, right? Well, there's, there's better ones. Oh, my. But this is the one I originally saw where I literally, like, gasped when yeah. I saw it. I'll have to look into it. My God, it's so cool. What are we doing about dinner? I don't know. I want Chinese food. Is that wrong? Nope. <laughs> yeah, we blew off Epcot. We ordered Chinese food and we're playing with Legos. <laughs> Not Legos. <laughs> we're going to get into trouble if you say that. What is wrong with us? We're in our 50s. It's what is we this, do. Is this some kind of midlife crisis when you suddenly revert to childhood? Is that a thing? Where do these four pieces go? Play with me! I'm not playing. Alright, so as you can see, this is very Lego-ish. We're we're actually laying tile work for the mm -hmm. bottom of our mm -hmm. of our shop here. Alright, so this is an area where this gets a little fiddly. But uh, we're persevering. We're on step 20. Our food's not here yet. Mm -hmm. oh. Here's how we're coming along. Planting flowers makes me hot. <sighs> We've declared this part to be the cluster food. That's how we know where things go. It goes in the cluster food. And then, I forgot what these are. Um, fiddle faddles. Yep. Fiddle sticks. Little fowls of cereal. Mm -hmm. Or a snack. I'm not sure. Never had it. Look at it. This is the end of day one. Turn the cassette over to continue with the second lesson. For your reference, we're on step 80. Out of 200 and... Something. What did I say? Twenty-one, mm -hmm. and that does not include the lighting that we don't know how to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, you knocked the pail out of the thing. You spilled the water on the floor. Where'd it go? There's water all over the floor. I can't find it. Well, I can't stay late. I got night school. <sighs> Look at the little pail. Of the water. That he keeps knocking out of the that, park. I don't know why we keep our bucket of water under this table, but we do. Probably mm -hmm. so Ethan doesn't kick it. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Look at. We don't know what this is. Nope. I think it's a gift wrapping state, like a floral wrapping station. I think that's so. That's where the scissors are, and I think this is supposed to be like cellophane. Yeah. That's, that's right. what I think. I don't know. Is this? I don't know what this is. I built a sink. Squirty cream. I built a little sink. Yep. And we have a coffee maker in case anyone would like an espresso.
And did you see the frog? There's a frog by the fountain. Mm -hmm. Um, at the end of bags three, we will have glass up on the sides. Wow. I know. And then I think bag four is just the top portion. Mm hmm And then we won't have any more Legos to play with. So Jamie whips out her credit card and gets more. Okay. So far... This is don't, this is a, this is like crack. Mm -hmm. Well, th this actually is probably crack, being that it's, you know, fake Lego. Lego. <laughs> Was that noise something you needed to make? Mm -hmm. um, Look, I made little benches. I got to say, though, for not being real Lego, this uh, this is not bad. No, it, it lacks a little bit of the snap. When they go together, but, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, it's, it's very intricate, like tile work and stuff compared to what, if this was real Lego, they wouldn't have gone to this trouble. You don't know that. No, without charging at least an additional $350 and calling it technique. <laughs> Look, these trees are dumb, but other than that, I like it. Oh, boy. It's, it's past my bedtime, isn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> Holy cow, it is. It really is. All right, I'll just sleep here so I can work on this in the morning. Mm -hmm. oh. I got a bucket of lemonade. So we're at Fat Ones. No, Fat Ones is at us. Because we're in Soviet Russia. Let's see, they've got the star there and everything. At long last, we finally get it. All right, so here's the Angelo from Fat Ones, or Fatones, or whatever it is. Fat Ones. Um, so it's a hot dog with bacon and onion jam and jalapeno in there, and then some kind of aioli. They won't say what. And these are what's called flats, and I think I see They're why. Flats. Yep. They're flat chips. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm not British. They're flat french fries. Well, I mean, you're not wrong when they are chippy. Okay. This is the fat one. Jesus, that's huge. <laughs> I'm out of control. And yes, I take ketchup on my hot dogs. Suck it. <gasps> Look at all the windows. It's day two of our ongoing build here. Could you sound any less excited about it? Staring at this all day. I bet. I, I was bummed that I wasn't able to play with it all day, but I didn't have to sit by it. Yep. <laughs> so the thing I did do is I had to fix the trees because they were going to like make it so we couldn't put the windows in. So I'm glad I figured that out ahead of time. So well, now we we're good to go. Because yeah, we couldn't fix it then. <laughs> what do you think that was for? <laughs> a future project we're going to be able to build an entire building out of all the scraps we have oh, oh I left the back door open mm -hmm. the bucket is upside down what well um. It can't be helped at this point. And the water is spilled on the floor. <laughs> Jeez. And there's pretty much no way to get to it. Give me the tweezers, I'll try. But I don't think they bend that way. Oh shit. Don't don't look at that. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> Back 
What do you think? Fancy. The ribs, in that, the ribs. Yeah, and that don't touch anything kind of way. Yeah, it's it's a little uh, it's a little fiddly. I'm I mean, supposed to wire it up for lights. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. <laughs> I don't think it's going to. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think this. I think this open. I think this opens so that you can actually open the window. So otherwise, you wouldn't be able to open the window. Yeah. I Look at the little door. Why there's a door on the back of the botanical gardens and no door on the front of the botanical gardens, your guess is as good as mine. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> All fixed. Mm -hmm. Like it never happened. I love it. I wish this opened. Yeah. Good evening. We are getting here late, late, late for us. What? But we might actually see the fireworks. <laughs> it's 7 <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> well, no, it's Epcot. 7 Eleven's over it's there after on 192. Seven we finally made it over here today. Yep. I actually gasped when I saw the monorail go by. I don't think you can see it with the sun flashed up behind it right now, but it's up there. So we decided to do the walk up for Rose and Crown. And our table's already ready already. We are not already ready already. So. We made it. We did it. And we're inside. We got some air conditioning. And look who followed us home. I was going to come back. So you ordered shepherd's pie, huh? I ordered the salmon. It sounded like a fairly healthy choice. Yes, I ordered shepherd's pie to remind me of Kenosha. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. I remember the Irish pub. Mm -hmm. So seated in Rosencrown. We sort of have a view of the outside. There you go. Now you can see outside. I love the plates. They're so cute. I got the special. I got the salmon on potatoes with pea pie. Isn't that look good? Oh, 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 oh. Look at the butter. Get on the butter. It's melting. Do you see it? And I got the shepherd's pie. Oh yeah. That looks good. So, how was your dinner? Filling. Yes, you enjoyed your shepherd's pie? Messing up my dessert plans, but the night is young. Yeah. The booths are not young. No. Yeah, it was good to get back to Rosa Crown for the first time in God knows how long. I can't even think of the last time I ate there. Yep. All right, so we're going to stroll around World Showcase and walk off a couple of calories. Okay. But my arm is weak. I just say it. All right. It's a Friday night. No, Saturday night. I don't even know what day it is. It's Saturday night in July. It's fairly crowded. The whole reason we never stay at Watson is because of traffic. True, but we have like literally a walk. <gasps> Remy! Gondolas and friendship boat. A couple more months before this opens. I, I need to use the facility. Pardon me. How pretty.
I can't turn the camera off. Finally got my Disney first and use these restrooms, but then I step out and I'm thinking, um, I want to make sure I'm kind of standing off to the side here, just because, you know, why tempt fate? Check it out. Some of the fountains are on. Oh, this is really grainy footage. It's kind of dark out here. I don't know why it popped out of focus like that. That's the first time we've seen the fountains going off. Fountains have been turned off. That was quick. All right, Ethan wanted to catch this band just to get an idea. It's I can't remember what they were called. It's one of those groups that does the old time sound but does current songs. I'm also pretty sure he hates this song. Is this Valerie? It is. He hates the song. He thought it was just a plain jazz band. And he was going to come and see him by himself. And he doesn't see me. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's Champagne Orchestra. That was the name. So we parked ourselves on a bench in, oh, it just came back on, um, where are we, Italy, kind of, kind of right next to the German train setup, but we found a bench that was empty, and so we sat on it, so the fireworks starts in a half an hour. Forcing ourselves to see I really miss those flames. I forgot how much I missed them. So have you had a nice night? Yep. Lots of people watching. Anything special? I lost my water clip. Yeah. Still dark.
digesting dinner. <laughs> Drop your phone, lose your water. You're a disaster. What am I going to do with you? It's so dark you can't see nothing. I can't even see you. You're not excited about it. A new garbage can. Ooh. And we're headed that way, I believe. You can see the ground. It's not quite the diamonds in the ground that used to be there. It's all just shiny stuff that's reflecting. But I still like that it's there. We're gonna go grab some lunch. You wanna join us? say we weren't going to Disney to go to lunch. Don't assume. Animal Kingdom. What are we here for? Tacos. Tacos. I realized last night, since the tacos are only available for lunchtime, we could get an Animal Kingdom pass today and get tacos for lunch. And then go home. had this in various iterations over the years but it's a happily ever after cake serving set for your wedding yeah and i mean no one toasting glasses i just love trays no reason although if you glued legs to the bottom of that That'd make a really cute little side table, wouldn't it? Dog socks. That's new. God, that's so cute. I've never had a dog who would wear that. Ooh. Oh, 
I'm not giving you guys any prices. Sorry. I can't read that. I don't even see if there's anything on that side. It's free. Here. What's that say? 30? 27. 27. I asked Ethan if they changed the Animal Kingdom bag. Turns out we just don't have any of those. I don't know why. Okay, look at all the men in line. Apparently, Ethan is wearing the it color of the day. <laughs> it's taco time. Okay, so there's pulled pork, chicken, and street corn. I got the street corn. The chicken ones are supposed to be pretty spicy, and that's what Ethan ordered. He's going to love that. Look at that island sunrise. Tequila with pog. <laughs> and a hint of watermelon. Mmm. All right, so let's go to the judge's table. What would you What would you give that? Well, I mean, it looks good. I haven't tasted any of it yet, so I give it zero stars. Zero right now? I would can never only, recommend it to anyone. It can only go up from there? Ow, sweat in my eye. Ow, oh my God, pain. Alright, after further ado, we got the tacos. Review time! How was your, how was your chicken tacos? It was pretty basic, but good. And it's really weird, I was thinking, like, well, why is it okay that this is basic, but then when the mac and cheese is basic, it's terrible. Because you dropped your phone. Yeah, that's part of it. I think the other thing too is that like with mac and cheese, if you eat it out somewhere, you want it to be a little more than just mac and cheese. Whereas with street tacos, it's pretty well understood it's not going to be some piled high extravagance. <laughs> My corn tacos were very good. I enjoyed that. It was a little spicy. It's like secret spicy. It starts out like the chicken one just starts out kind of plain and all of a sudden it's like the spices are hiding underneath. So, this was the plan today. The plan was literally make a reservation to Animal Kingdom, eat street tacos, and we're done. So we're going to go see what else we can find in the neighborhood. So that was it for Animal Kingdom. So if you're here for us, stay there. And if you're only here to see Disney stuff, see you next week. They have the bobble bar ears. They're very fancy. Oh, what did you do? A bag man for the boy. You what? I'm a bag man for the boy. Okay. See, we're leaving, like we said. Finally, they've only been out for you know like a, over a year. Yep. What else is in the bag? Like she doesn't know. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Just need one more. One more what? Of these brand. Bobble? Yeah. Why? You have the pink ones, you got these, so you need one more to make a collection. It's like a really? collection within the collection. <laughs> I know that. I swear we got it. There's gotta be another bobble bar up there. There's gotta be. We have I just went to put my seatbelt on again. I'm already wearing it. Alright, it is Wednesday. Jamie is at home because we 
both had, well, frankly, for the recorded line, crud days at work. Uh, but I work from home and she doesn't. So I get to the point where I need to like leave the apartment. I don't care for what. So I'm at Epcot. And she is vegging in front of the TV. So we threatened that, you know, there would come a day we would just kind of like, if we feel like going to the park, we'll just go to the park regardless. <laughs> so here we are. Um, so I'm starting right in with the donut box because I can. And a beer. So happy Wednesday. And we'll just see what's good. Alright, I did not grab any kind of cutlery of any sort. So I'm getting ripped off. I'm going to find a fork. Um, so here's my verdict. I had the sriracha chicken one last time. And I think between the two is the better one. This is the Black Forest. It's one of the donuts of the day that never seem to change ever. Um, so it's just a donut with some cherries and chocolate on it. It's not terrible, it's just, I think the sriracha one had a little more variety in how it was set up. So, um, it's one of those, I'm glad I didn't lead off with it, but it's, I wanted to know how it was and now I know. It's, it's okay, I'm not going to like say don't get it, it's just not, it's not A-list material. <laughs> Uh, so there you go. Here is always good. So I did the review footage, but that seems like they got a paint job. Seems different. Alright, since they're not using this rotunda for the Voices of Liberty good current, um, I'm having the tart. And so we'll check this out. It is wild mushroom and risotto, I believe. All right, yes, no? they say? Nope, they don't say. Who knows? Who knows what I'm having? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the rotunda. This, on the other hand, will not make you rotunda uh, because it's just kind of a, well, just a snack, really. Um, it's not bad, once again. It's very buttery. It's a flaky phyllo dough with mushroom and truffle, I believe. Just if there is truffle, I think it had the word truffle on the bottle, I guess, or whatever they did, but it's not knocking me over with truffle flavor. Not that I'm the expert on truffle, but when all I taste is phyllo dough and mushroom, I mean, I think that kind of says it all. Kind of a nice little pop it in your mouth and keep going snack, but it's, there's not a lot to say about it. You know, when we've been kind of down on ourselves about not being very descriptive, but short of having someone feed me a script, I don't really have much more to say about it. So here we go. So when I left the house, I said I was doing the Japan booth. Am I though? An investigation. It's time for the main event. I went to Japan, so here I'm in Morocco, you know, as you do. Uh, so I had the sushi, and I'm having the teriyaki bun. Uh, this is now the golden hour to buy stuff that I wouldn't, well, Jamie wouldn't want. It's it's not a matter of not eating it around her, it's just that, hey, I'm here. She doesn't like this stuff, so I'm going to so hot. Here's the problem here. I came here to relax. It is mega crowded today. And we had a massive storm today um, for most of the afternoon. Enough that I thought we were gonna have the power go out. Um, I really thought it was gonna thin the herd here. Instead, it had the opposite effect that I think everybody was cooped up anywhere else. And now they've all like blasted off to Epcot to get in as much of it as they can. 
so I don't know what to do. I really don't want to come over here and be a grouch. I also feel like I accomplished my goal of not sitting in the apartment all day, every day. Uh, but, but, but. All right, so I'm gonna, one of the points that we gauge crowd level at for Epcot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much pre-pandemic. So it's coming off today. I have no idea what the capacity situation is at Epcot. I just know that it's closer to old normal the new normal. So, I'm going to be cutting bait sooner rather than later. That has nothing to do with the fish and chips of this park. Um, yeah, neither Jamie nor I are loving the crowds. And I mean, we get it that that comes with the territory of theme parks. But, you know, we're still transitioning from pandemic mode when there wasn't that many people. And there was actual social distancing. Now there's just, you know, you hope people had vaccination and you know they didn't. Just that's not even a controversial statement. That's just, that's the facts, Jack. <laughs> we're fully vaccinated and that's the fact, Jack. So that's good. But, you know, I just don't like people all up on me. And I like having a place I can go somewhere to just kind of get away from people. And I just wanted to go do that, and I couldn't even do that because everyone was all, like, crawling over the walls there. <laughs> so, I don't know. This is why, uh, you know, apartment wins sometimes. Anyway... Let's see what other mischief I can get into here before I leave. I love it when kids have wisdom beyond their ears. This little kid just walked by yelling at it, what I assume was her mom or her aunt or whatever, saying, Well, my feet hurt too, but I can deal with it. <laughs> well, you know, mazel tov to you, kid. Well, Bonnie. A gator a monorail That's what I'm gonna do you know I gotta be me and I have a certain standard of quality I've gotta rise or sync to in these videos. Oh yes, all this be for me. So now I know what I've been coming over here for. They finally, finally changed up the uh, the selection. It's a trap. No kidding, it's a trap. Fifteen bucks. When I was a kid, it was uh, about six bucks. A year with nineteen seventy nine dollars, it's uh, fifteen bucks. So you know. So I didn't see these mugs last time. They seem kind of dainty for 15 bucks. I feel like I had to put my pinky up, but maybe it's just because it says pass holder and looks very fancy. Quite. even that tune. Uh, not much of a video, I'm afraid. But, you know, it's all goes with solo trips when there's no one to key off of, you know. Um, not loving the crowds today. Just not. Um, again, great for Disney that all these people are there. Um, not so great for wanting to go to a theme park to relax. <laughs> Um, anyway, happy Wednesday. How about this? No!